all I'm, uh, I'm thinking about is my family, how I'm gonna help them to go in a safe place. I think it's not easy, as there is a lot of rumors, a lot of false news. We don't know the truth. We don't know where to go. Uh, I'm trying to deal with patients. We have maybe 10 times, 10 times the, the capacity of the hospital uh, overloaded with patients. 10 times the, the beds, the people, uh, patients are in the, the corridors, the, uh, in the, the streets, uh, they are evacuating them uh, because there is no other beds, uh, any other casualties come to the hospital, they stay in the emergency department. Uh, I can't work in here, uh, people are uh, evacuating in a Shifa hospital as it is the only shelter for them uh, beside the United Nations schools. Uh, we don't have uh, normal shelters. Now Gaza is announced as a military operation uh, ground or something like that. There is uh, about, uh, there is a, an invasion about to happen after wiping out complete blocks and neighborhoods from the map. Uh, the, the, even even the, 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 the air we smell, the, the, we, we breathe is uh, contaminated, uh, it is full of dust and uh, bombing, uh, ashes and dust. I hope my messages are all delivered. I hope the conscience of good people who can see the real picture, not the propaganda, not the false news, not the claims. We are peaceful living people here. We're trying to live ordinary life. We have been in a blockage and siege for, for, for decades now. We don't have the basic requirement to live. We try to live in Gaza, but there is no hope now. There is no, there is no place to live in Gaza. We are trying to to be resilient, but it is hard here. It is so hard here. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app, or follow us on social media.